With all the Khabib talk that we've we, we've had leading up to this fight, and particularly on this week, right? Getting Khabib to talk is a difficult thing to do. On fight week, Khabib has media obligations, which I, I think he views as burdens. I think he's one of those guys that would rather kind of be left alone, but he does his part. And kind of the only time you get to hear from Khabib is on fight week, and he's been saying a lot of things, and he's been very open to the fact of the mental exercise that he is going through in the absence of his father. And I heard somebody say, and I found this to be very cold. I don't want to scold the person because I don't think they meant to be cold. I think their words just were, but they said, you know, Khabib's father's only cornered him one time. It's not like he's used to not doing this without his dad. I said, well, well, your, your dad physically being there and your dad being gone. I mean, it's a totally, totally different conversation. But the one I'm here to bring for you is when we're talking about Khabib and all the things that he's going through, not to mention a pandemic, not to mention been living out of a suit, at right? He's training a little bit in California. Then he had to take the whole team to Russia and guys had to come there with them. Then at some point they had to get on a plane and go to Abu Dhabi. The one talking point that I've been a little surprised that has been left out is Khabib's biggest challenge. And his biggest challenge has not been Barboza and it hasn't been Conor McGregor and it hasn't been RDA and it's had not even Justin Gaethje. The only thing that Khabib has ever failed out ever is the way in the day before. And when you're going through things differently, different training camps, different motivations, the pand- everybody's got their own problems, but Khabib's are a little bit more public. And I'm just surprised that nobody's talking about the only thing that's ever beaten Khabib in the sport before, which is the scale. I don't know that we have much to discuss here. I think I just want to be the one guy that's on record to call it out on the absolute absolute darkest shot in the world that he misses weight, but it's the one thing that he has struggled with before when everything was great, when everything was going smoothly, when he didn't have emotional roller coasters, when he didn't have a whole bunch of money in his pocket, that 10% they took from him hurt. I only bring that to you because nobody's talking about what he weighs and he does have to beat the scale guys. There is a reason that Michael Chandler is in Abu Dhabi right now. I have no larger point to any of this. It's just something that I want to call to your attention because Khabib does have two fights this week. Same as everybody competing. But in the history of Khabib, there's only one that's beaten him before, and it's a rematch. And now he's openly talking about things are different. I guess I want to be the one guy to call it just in case. I'm I'm hedging my bet so I can look like a genius a week from now should it happen. But even if it doesn't happen, a lot of times when Khabib is talking about the difficulties and some of the struggles, people are assuming he means the X's and the O's of Gaethje. I suggest for you, he's talking about the other battle that he is aware of. And I think just to have a little bit of fun, and fight week is is so fun, there's no punches on fight week. There's no takedowns on fight week. It's all talk. It's all speculative. I think we have reason to talk and speculate about Khabib versus the scale.